Hello, hello, good evening, Carlos, how are you? Evening. Thank you. So, how's everything? Same. How was I, your day? Same. Same. Usually, better work. Um, we have to wait for the class start. Okay. So. A heavy day at work. Oh, you told me the other day that you live close from your job, right? Yeah, I live so close to my job. How long does it take you to get home? Around five minutes, if I walk. But if I use my bicycle, only one minute. Yeah, that's almost nothing, right? Yeah, it's almost nothing. Yeah, well, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, because I so, don't use the bus, and, and that way I I don't waste money. Yeah, and you don't more. and you don't lose time in the in traffic. Yeah, because everyone is is crazy about traffic. Traffic is crazy, my friend. I mean, traffic nowadays is horrible. And how how many times it takes for you to get get home from work? How long? Or no? Yeah. How long does it take you? That's the way. How long does it take you to get home from work? Say with me, how long does it take you? Okay, how long does it take you to, to get from home work? From, from work? Um, let me see, well, not that much, to be honest. I mean, it takes me like, what? Uh, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. I tell you work from home. No, 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 no. I mean, I have to travel. Uh, not uh, some of my jobs are are in different places. I mean, I but the, I have the that one, one. The one, the one you're, you're doing right home. now is from your home, right? Yeah, you're working remote. Yeah, yeah. This one is from home, but mm. I got the. The situation is this, I got one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three more jobs. Okay. Some of them are close and some of them are far, far away from your home. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Yeah, I mean, some of them I have to travel. Like tomorrow in the afternoon, I will travel to downtown San Salvador. Okay, I, I was wondering how you make a lot of time for your for your day, and how is how can you do everything in one day if you have a lot of things to do? Well, you know, you organize, you organize, and. I mean, you gotta be like organizing your schedule, like uh, like Saturdays. I mean, I work in the morning, I work in the afternoon, but I have enough time to travel from place from one place to the other one, and I just have like at noon, I just have like 15, 20 minutes for lunch, so I gotta run. Okay. And Sunday, I I leave my house at 6 a.m. and I come back at 1. Okay. 
What about the traffic? You never have stuck in the traffic? Oh, yeah. I mean, let me see. When was it? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday, I was coming from San Salvador. There was a lot of traffic. I mean, it took me more than expected to get home, but I could make it. So, I mean, as I tell you, we have to make do with the schedule. Sometimes you have to, to, to try to organize yourself. Because otherwise, I mean, I wouldn't be able to, to cover everything that I got to. You never have to reschedule your, your day if you get stuck in your, on your, in the traffic, in the traffic. Well, uh, not really. I mean, usually I, when I have to, to travel, what I do is that I try to set everything on a way that allows me to, to, to make it from my job to my house. Okay. The one thing we what? need to have, we yeah, need to me. do, we need to, that, the one thing we need to do is to stay early before the job starts or the class yeah. on, on my own. We need to take advantage of the time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we have to. Yes, teacher. We have to, otherwise, I mean, we get in trouble. Well, thank you very much, Carlos. Nice having you here. Okay, teacher, you're welcome. Let's see. Uh, 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 Antonio, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Right now, I'm fine. Okay, <laughs> that's nice. How was the day? Uh, it was fine. Uh, there are uh, a few work. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you could take it easy today? Yes, for, but for today, for tomorrow, I don't know, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. You never know, right? Yes, never know, teacher, for tomorrow. So I, I enjoy the moment when I when I am a little free time. Yeah, of course, of course, you have to. I mean, yes, teacher. Uh, if you have the chance to, to to relax a little bit, to take it easy, you have to because sometimes I mean there's no time. Sometimes in our job there's no time to do nothing. Yes, because sometimes I. I feel a little stress, but right now I I feel I feel very well, teacher. That's I'm okay. Yes, I am relaxed for the moment. Yeah, yeah, because I mean and it's true what you say. Right now, I mean you're home, you are relaxed, you can forget a little bit of the of the job. I mean, you can disconnect for a little while. Ah, yes, the job. It's not that is is good. Yeah, it is necessary. It is necessary. I mean, otherwise we overstress too much. Yes, yeah. Or for the moment, uh, I'm waiting for vacation. Mm, that's great. Yes, this is on, on December. December 22, maybe. Okay. So you yes. will have you will have a couple of days. Yes, a couple of days. We have vacation from from December 22 to January 
nine, I think. Oh, oh that's nice. Yes, teacher. That's very nice. I mean, it's yes. it's a good vacation. Yes, I'm waiting for it. Yeah, of course, of course, I understand it totally. And you, teacher, don't don't have vacation? Yeah, I start well from from one of my jobs. I start vacation on. Let's see. Let me see next week on Thursday. And from the other one, I start vacation in December the 6th. The 6th. Ah, okay, teacher. And let's see. And with the other one, I finish December the 17th. No, the 18th. Ah, okay. And another one I finished December 17th. Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That's right. Okay, okay teacher. That's yeah, nice. I will That's have, great, teacher. Yeah, I will have some vacation. That's nice. Anthony, welcome. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Ingrid, hello. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh, Ingrid, explain to me. Where <laughs> were you yesterday? I was work uh, later. Late. 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 Um, I I can. Uh, I couldn't. Connect. I couldn't connect. Uh, the class. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I I I am new in my work. Uh, ni modo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes we have to. There's no option, right? Yes, teacher. <laughs> but today I am here. <laughs> That's great. Yes, teacher. And tell me, how was your day? Um, today is very busy. I was, I went to uh, Sonsonate. I after, went to Sonsonate. I went to Sonsonate uh, and next I come back. No, yes, I come back at, at the office. Um, I can, I can come, no, no, I get out uh, for, uh, at my house, um, just that teacher, I arrive uh, at 6 p.m. at my home, um, and I am, and I am eating hokote. <laughs> you like hokote? Yes. You don't like. You don't no. like nothing, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For real. I don't like them. <laughs> Ni hokote. Yeah, no, no, not really. <laughs> hey, well, I like them with with uh, um um sweet hokote, like uh. When they make them for Easter, cuando los preparan para Semana Santa, with sweet mm -hmm. candy, with sugar cane sweet. Yeah. I like it like that, but I mean. My connection is very bad, teacher. I oh, really? Listening. Yes, I, I don't listening. After you say Semana Santa. Oh, it's because I stopped speaking. Ah. <laughs> okay. Your connection is okay, my dear. Your connection okay. is okay. <laughs> okay, sir. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> it's just, 
I mean, some fruits are like cool, but uh, oh, you will hate me for this. I don't like mangoes. I don't eat mangoes. ¿Qué? No, I don't. No, teacher. What? No, teacher. This is delicious. What is yeah. your... I mean, what do you like? What is your your fruit? Your fruit? What do you prefer? Uh, which fruit? Your favorite food? Mm, my favorite food, sapote. I love sapote. Ah, I like too. I mm -hmm. with with milk or only fruit. In, in shake. Oh, no, just the fruit. Mm. It's delicious. You don't like papaya? Oh, I like it a lot. Uh, okay. But I don't believe you, you don't like mango. Yeah, it's not my fruit. Do you like elote loco, riwas? No, not really. <laughs> Teacher, what happened with you? <laughs> I mean, I'm not that normal, you know. No, I got the yuca, la yuca frita. No. No. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I like it, but not that much. In the other level, I am going, ah, I don't know, but uh, when the class is a, is presencial or in face-to-face, -face, different students give uh, food or fruit for the, <clears throat> para compartir. Si estuviéramos así, fruit hubiéramos llevado para darle. Oh, really? No, yo digo, pues, como para cerrar el curso. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. Hey, Ingrid, nice having you here. Always a pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, um, <clears throat> Luis Mario, hello. Luis Mario, creo yo. Well, let's see, perhaps. No. Hmm. Hmm. Ivan, hello, Ivan. Oh, either. Let's see, Magdaleno. Hello, mister. Hello, teacher. Oh, now, I was worried. I thought perhaps, perhaps these guys cannot hear me. How are you, my <laughs> friend? How's everything? Okay, everything is all right. I can hear you very okay, well. That's, sure. that's nice, though. Nice. Yeah, I guess yeah. it was Ingrid's excuse. She didn't want to talk to me, you know, because she was enjoying her her popote. <laughs> okay, I am eating uh, tamales because, uh, no, I am eating tamales, but I really, teacher, I really hate the women who do 100 tamales with one hand. You know, with one chicken, one hundred tamales with one oh, chicken. Okay, one hundred tamales out of a chicken, out of one chicken, out of one chicken, out of one. 
Eso significa con un, con de un, un solo, solo de uno solo. solo. Yeah, exactly. Abro. Mm. Abro only one chicken teacher. It's unacceptable. Yeah, it's unacceptable and unsatisfying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is no good. I am eating tamales. Okay, chicken tamales. Maybe vegetable tamales because chicken potato tamales. <laughs> yeah. With the with a little smell, with a little scent. You know that word yeah. scent. Yes, only with, with a the little scent. Yeah. A little scent. I mean it smells like chicken. <laughs> yes. Ah uh, yeah. It's, uh, this is my country. Okay, it's that teacher. When when we finish the course, teacher? Oh, this week, next week, after that one. Ah, oh, we have a lot of classes. Yeah, actually we are in class number 17 right now and we got uh, 25 class. Wow, that is great. That is great. We will have a lot of opportunity to practice and to learn. Yeah, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Is that? And today, teacher, I I was working. I don't know how I can say. Anduve trabajando como un camionero. I was working as as a truck driver. Top driver. Truck driver. Ah, truck driver. Eh, la palabra más correcta quizás sería un transportista. Uh, Transporter. As a transportation driver. Mm, a transportation driver is that. And because, because I, um, I get up in the morning and take a shower and and I hurry my my hurry to go to carry some bag uh, some bag and boxes to an org organization called a convoy of hub who help us to, in the church who church. help us who, who helped us at church with some meal uh, for for the um, uh, children dinners and they Already? gave me a lot of boxes they gave me gave me they gave gave me a lot of boxes and i had to carry that and the pickup mm. on the pickup. You, you were busy a little bit and it, it was in the morning and then i i went with my mother-in-law to the market for some things for her a grocery shopping, maybe. I don't know. Fui al store? Para... Yeah, yeah, for her store. For her store. <laughs> or, or, she just, or she just sells groceries. Yes, uh, she also sorry for my life. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, the question is, does she tell you uh -huh. groceries or or does she tell some other stuff? My my mother-in-law sells um, every everything, maybe sodas and beans, rice, groceries, and other things. 
And she sells, she sells pupusas too. Oh, really? Yep. They keep busy. Almost the time. Well, that's good, I mean. Yeah, and the situation is that she is diabetic. She is diabetic I, and almost the time she is, uh, she is busy. Well, that helps her. Hmm? I, I mean that. What is the pronunciation okay. for diabetic? You Diabetic. It's right, diabetic. Okay, is that? She keep busy almost the time. Ta -da! And that helped to her. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, Magdalena, always a pleasure. Thank you for sharing with us. Sorry to interrupt you, but <laughs> I have to take the attendant. <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher. It's no, thanks to you. Let's see, attendance. Carlos Antonio Serrano Aria. Present teacher. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Gustavo <coughs> Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Thank you, Eva. Holman Saúl Quirón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Juan Francisco Echala Montano. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabi. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Francisco. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Chestenia Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Fernández. Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón. Present teacher. Thank you guys. Well, let's continue. Let's begin. Uh, Gabriel, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, more or less, teacher. A survivor. More or less, more surviving. Yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh. Okay. How was everything? How was your day today? Um, at work, very good, but my, my health, salud, health. Sí. Yeah, my health. He's having trouble recovering. Oh, yeah, yeah. You were very sick. Uh, I am very tired. And and 
short or great. Me duele el pecho todavía. My chest hurts. Yes. Uh -huh. um, ahí vamos. Ok. Ahí vamos. Recuperándonos poco a poco. Well, that's nice. I mean, that's... Yes. That's the, the, the three ideas. Step by step, you know, slowly. Slowly, and you gotta be careful. Okay. Okay, Gabriel, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Carla Lisette, hello. Oops, where did Carla go? Oscar, Oscar Armando, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? Um, hi, teacher. Thank you, guys. Bye, uh, home. I'm sorry? Thank you, guy. Got the uh, finally. Okay, home. yeah, yeah. That's not yet. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, thanks. Arrest. Thanks, God. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, teacher. Okay, and tell me, how was your day? Did you have a good day at work? Yeah. Uh, my day is uh, uh, more or less. Okay, Legal. what time did you finish working? I uh, finished work the um, uh, five, uh, no, uh, for the uh, four uh, forty five PM. Four forty five PM. Yes. Okay, well, that's that's good time. So you have dinner already? Uh, yes, yeah, yes. I I dinner now. Thirty uh, minutes uh, ago, dinner. Thirty minutes ago. Yes. Okay, what did you have for dinner? Um, uh, the beans, um, the, como digo, este, relleno de papa. Oh. Uh, 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 okay, 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 okay. You say it like this, let's see. Rellenos de papa, okay, it, potato. No, stuff potato like this. Uh, Estufa de potato. Stuff, stuff. Estuff potato. Potato, yeah. Okay, estuff potato. potato. Potato, Okay, my dinner is a, a bean with the pot, stuff potato. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. And tell me, do you drink coffee for dinner? Uh, always, uh, este, but uh, today, este, uh, refresh. Oh, uh, a refreshment. Uh, yes. A refreshment. Or you can say a juice. I juice, juice. Juice. Um, A strawberry. Oh, oh, strawberry, strawberry. Yeah, strawberry. Okay, that's nice, but that's a good dinner. 
Yes. Hello, Oscar. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. We got time for one more, one more. Where's Holman? Hi, teacher. Hello, mister. How are you? Oh, well, poor. No. Very, very tired, teacher. I, <laughs> I, I, I go out. I went out. I went, yes. I went out to my home uh, around 7 a.m. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, it's yes. like this. It's like this. I left. I left home. Salí de casa o me fui de la casa. I left home around 7 a.m. Yes. And it you is. came back? Yeah. And you say, and I came back. I, I came back. Uh, 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 right now. Uh, oh. As, uh, as, uh, okay, you say it like this. You say it like this. Hold on. You say it like this. You say. You say, I am just arriving. Yes, uh, I am just arriving. I I forget. Uh, forgot. Forgot. I I have I have class. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is is the the day the day was very crazy. I is I went to uh, I went to skateboarding and then I. I went to event to freestyle rap. Uh, uh, oh, almost I, I went I, 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 um, I lo I lost lost my transport. Transportation. Uh, transportation. Uh, oh, uh, almost I I. <laughs> I, 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 I don't, I don't, don't, came, came back to my home. Oh, really? Yes, it's wow. very, 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 very crazy. It's, it was yeah. very. It was not an easy day for you. Well, I'll see, Jesse, who Loco eso, no, era que sí. Y cuando vi que hay, hay, when I, 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 I saw the, the text in the group, I, I, rem, I remember, I, I remember. Oh, in that's the, that's the moment when you remember about the class. Yes, I, 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 I. I, I, yo venía in, in the, in the, in the so, Uber. So you, you were in, you were focused on get home and sleep. Yes, you, uh, I, in, the, in this moment, I am, I am lost, uh, I am lost, but I, I don't know what happened. It's, yeah, but don't worry, don't worry. You will you will get in the rhythm of the class. Don't worry about it. You will get in the rhythm. Relax, relax a little bit. Yeah, that's I mean that's the first step to be here. The rest, you know, after a while it starts coming along. Don't worry about it. Okay, guys. Thank you very much, Palma. Thank you, all of you. Let's see, Jose, Orlando, Ivan, Carlos Olivaldo, Yesenia. Let's see who else did I, did I didn't talk to. Well, all of you, welcome. Uh, topic, television. How often do you watch television? 
And what do you think of the quality of television programs today? What's your opinion about this topic, guys? We are going to we are going to talk about it. You will have five minutes working in small groups. Well, not that small groups, but uh, and I want you to 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 share information, to share opinions, okay? Because then I'm asking you. So groups are open. Five minutes. Every day, really, every day, every day, watch TV, <laughs> every day. <laughs> oh, oh, what is the question exactly? The question is that this share... I didn't say nothing. I sent you the questions. I sent you the question. Yeah, Carlos didn't say nothing either. The questions are, uh, how often do you watch television? And what do you think of the quality of television programs today? Mm -hmm. That is the question. It's not the toxic women. <laughs> yeah, that's the question. That's the question. Yeah. I saw Carlos that he was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then Carlos. Oh, yes, okay. tell me. Every day. I watch television every day. Really, I am a strange man. A Why? rare man. What is the, the correct word, teacher? <laughs> strange or rare? Weird. Um, weird. 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 Okay, I am a weird. Because I don't watch TV. <laughs> ah. Yes. I never believe it. I don't remember when was the last time when I watched TV at night. Oh, it's better. I don't remember. I don't remember when I watch a movie in, in, in television, in TV. I don't remember. On, on TV. On TV. On TV. Okay, I don't remember when I watched a, a movie on TV. So what do you do every day after ah. class? <sighs> after class, um, almost the time, uh, read books for the seminary, public seminary. I am uh, studying right now hermeneutica. And when I don't have homework, I I rest. But but I because I I have to get up at five o'clock because I have a little business. And my business I I I take busy for the most part of the time and. Sometimes I have to do something from church, and I was busy. I don't have time to for TV. <laughs> I don't have any time. If you say that, if you say that you don't watch TV often, how can you improve your English vocabulary if you don't watch TV? Ah, uh, it's easy. Listen, listen to music in the car, 
or listen videos in the car and you talk TV and ask Alicia and Pacho Ochoa. And then it, that is in YouTube. I, I can listen and watch these videos, the YouTube videos in the car or in a short time what I have uh, free time. I watch TV. I no, so sorry. I watch uh, YouTube movies, YouTube uh, videos, and then uh, in yourself. I follow what? In yourself? Yes, in my in my cell phone. And sometimes I I follow I I watch publication uh, post. I watch post in in Instagram on Instagram. I follow some mm. some pages on Instagram and I can improve in that. Okay. I think I think I am the same as you that I don't like to watch television because it's boring for me. But I I love to watch movie. I don't know if what was the difference between watch television and watching movie. I think it's in the same place. Okay, you watch movies and TV, right? Yeah, on my TV, on my phone as well. On uh, my phone, I don't watch movies. I don't remember when I, um, some years ago, when I had time to watch movies i really loved watch movies but i don't have time today maybe when i finish the english course and we finish and we finish the seminary maybe in this time i will have time again to watch good movies and other things because in, in ch at church I I have to hang a lot of time. I see the different topics. Uh -huh. I got you, got you. <laughs> Teacher, me quito la inspiración. <laughs> okay, I'm gone. I come. Fifty seconds, guys. Fifty seconds.
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Orlando, Orlando Nunez. Yes, teacher. Hold on a second. I will turn on my cam. Yeah. Tell me, how often do you watch TV? Uh, I said to Xiomara, not too much. I'm just looking for in the night to see some educational things. Uh, for example, if I want to see something about science, I can learn something. Um, well, in this moment, I'm just looking for English information so I can see um, some news. But that's it. I don't see television too much. Okay. And what do you think of the type of TV programs nowadays? Well, for this moment, it's still different because, uh, for example, the cartoons, uh, they have some delicate topics. Uh, for example, the currently topic is uh, could be the homosexually. I don't know is that correct the pronunciation, but all the all the series, for example, in Netflix, want to they want you to to see all the time that this is that is a correct uh, way to to do the things, but we know this is not the correct way to, to do the things. Um, and I also, I remember uh, the cartoons from the 90s, 90s, for example. Uh, it was so different uh, since today, of today cartoons, I don't know. Nowadays, nowadays. Nowadays, thank you. Uh, Probably you can remember the nice uh, the Looney Tunes. That old kind of cartoon, it's really, really different than right now. So, well, all the cartoons right now is weird. I don't know. And I don't have idea what cartoon are in the television right now. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, um, Rosalina, what about you? Tell me, how often do you watch TV? Okay, teacher. Um, I think about it, I watch TV more than on a weekend, but maybe one hour per day, in average. Um, sometimes I like to uh, see the documentaries watch watch documentaries documentaries documentaries, documentaries. Mm -hmm. yes. okay and what do you think of the type of tv programs that they are projecting nowadays uh <clears throat> for example i i think in um in past time you call telenovelas, no? Right now, series in Netflix is the same. But I think when when I read the, the question, I remember some people in, in our in my job. Uh, maybe sometimes come come late, and when I say what happened, oh excuse me, but because yesterday I saw the series, and when I I look at my my watch. Is 3 a.m. because the series is very nice and then uh, like a um no lo cortan <clears throat> see, see, see spend a lot of time in that and I don't know I don't know it's a is a it's common today yeah yeah it is it is thank you Rosalina welcome by the way thank you Oh, my God. Let me put this right out. 
Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ivan, hello, Ivan. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Ivan, what's your opinion on TV programs? Do you like them? Do you watch them? What's your favorite one? Uh, actually, um, maybe uh, I don't watch TV in the week. During the week. Thank you. Free in the week. Um, um, más que todo uh, in, in the weekends. In the weekend. Okay. Um, mostly. Mostly. Most, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Must be uh, weekend. Uh, in the Saturday, uh, two or three hours in the date. And uh, Sunday, maybe. Uh, one hours. Yeah, it's not that much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, what's your favorite type of, of TV program? Favorite programs? Yeah, what's your favorite? The type, the style of programs, the people of programs. Ah, style programs. Um, documentary, documentary. Okay. Um, I like watch the movies in the in the uh, life real. I'm sorry. Life real, vida real. Uh, real life, real uh, life. Thank you. Vida, uh, real life is a it's a like. I love movie in this in the style. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's see, Marlon Jonathan. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, mister. Tell me, what's your opinion on TV programs? Uh, I prefer that series, Netflix. Picture. that uh, and they are not interesting the program today that i i like the cartoon i like watch cartoons cartoon, cartoons cartoons sorry cartoons. cartoons but today today's cartoon are better in this thing, but they are not interesting. The no son interesantes. They are not interesting. Yes, son mejor en calidad, pero no interesante. Okay, they are better. Repeat after me. They are better in quality. They are better in quality. Quality, but not interesting. But not interesting. They are better. They are better in quality, but they are not interesting. Okay, well, interesting opinion. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, let's see. Activity. We are going to work in the manual. Okay, we got us this activity. We are working in page number 26, exercise number five. What are you going to do? Well, you can see you have to draw a line from the word to its correct definition. So we have one done for us. We got word schedule and we got that word schedule is a chart that presents a list of employees. Days of the week and times of the day they are required to work. That's work schedule. Okay, so you are going to get them together. You have to match them. That's a matching exercise, okay? This exercise is a short and easy one. So you will have four minutes for it. Hurry up.
<clears throat> okay, it's a, a uh, put draft a line from the words, it is correct. Uh huh. Yes. Break. Break. Maybe break. break. Is a small period of time when a person can stop working. To eat, to eat or rest. Or rest. Yeah, yes, I break. think. Break. Mm -hmm. This. <clears throat> I bring my. And the second, when work more than the regular working hours in a day or week, for me, is overtime. Overtime, when you work more than the regular working hours, yes, overtime. Ya voy, hijo, ya termino. Sí, excuse me. The, um, the other one, Chief. Call in to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Yes, calling. Uh-huh. Yes. The last one. <clears throat> Actually, what you say is to call in sick. To call in sick? Sick? Sick. Yeah, when you are sick, you call in sick. Es decir, como que está reporta. Uh-huh. Hmm. Shift the time of the day when a person work. Shift, shift. What is the meaning, shift, teacher? Excuse me. For nada. Ah. Okay. For nada, shift. Okay, Marlon. <clears throat> Finish the chair. All right. Uh, exercise. Yeah, yeah. Let Maybe me go Carlos check Ibarra the rest of the groups. Let me Carlos go check Ibarra. the rest of the groups. Okay. Time to come back, guys. Okay, we're just waiting for everybody to come back. Okay, let's see, just a few more seconds, and everybody's going right now.
Okay, guys, let's see. Work schedule is a chart that presents a list of employees, the days of the week, and times of the day they are required to go to work. Gabriel, what if break? Hello, teacher. Break a small period of, of time when a person can, can stop working to eat or race. Okay, let's see. let's see. So you told me that break it, a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Perfect, Gabriel, thank you very much. Carlos, what is cheap? The time of the day when a person works. The time of the day when a person works. Perfect, thank you very much. Let's see, Antonio, overtime. Okay, overtime is when you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. Okay, let's see. When you work more than the regular working hours in a day of the week, in a day or week, perfect. And let's see, Carla, no, Carlos, let's see, let's see. Xiomara, can you read call in, please? Call in to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Okay. To telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Excellent. Perfect, guys. Okay. Now, look at the schedule. We have this schedule here. We have to look at the schedule and answer the questions, okay? So we got Laura's schedule, Thomas, Sophia, and Carlos. You have to say who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Friday, when is the dishwasher day off, how long is Thomas break, what is Sophia's job in the restaurant, when is her vacation, when is Carlos on training, what is his schedule on Friday? Okay, guys, this exercise, it's very interesting because you need to analyze the table here. So I'm going to, to send you to the group, but before I send you to the group, did I get the second attendance? No, right? No, no yet. No, yet. Okay. Oh, no. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmo. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Juan Francisco Echala Montano. Thank you, Francisco. Carla Lizet García Lemos. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Hello. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Yes, thank you, Luis Mario. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present. Thank Present you. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Thank you, Oscar. Present teacher. Vilma Yesenia Alvarenga. 
Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. En Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Quirón. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. So now you go to the groups. I will send you the, the screenshot, guys. Hi, teacher. Mario, you can go to your room. Please send in, send my send me to the same group. <laughs> I will. I don't know why is this problem. Hello, guys. Hi, teacher. Are you working on the activity? Mm, yes, I'm doing by myself because I don't know who is what's wrong with it. The there's Yumara and Francisco is a little bit busy. Jose is on his way home. But Yumara oh, okay. is here. 
Okay. Seven también. Yes. Y de is Thomas this question. Seven and eight. This question. What's what's meaning this question, teacher? Lavar trastes. Oh. Thank you. Okay. How long is Thomas break? How long? ¿Cuánto dura, teacher? Mean break. Is correct the tra translate. I'm sorry, say again. How long? ¿Cuánto dura? ¿Cuán... Yes. Yes. How long? How long Thomas is break? 30 minutes break. What is Sofia job in the restaurant? When is her vacation? Ah, oh, Friday, no, Friday, 7th, September 8th. ¿En qué trabaja Sofía? Bartender. No, Bartender. where is Sofía job? ¿De qué trabaja Sofía in the restaurant? Uh -huh. Bartender. Okay. And when is, when, when is her vacation? Friday, vacation? September 8th. On vacation. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Quiero September 8th. When is Carlos on training? What is the schedule on Friday? When is Carlos when, training? When uh, is September 5th. Tuesday, September 5th. Uh -huh. Training. What is the schedule on Friday? On Friday, the schedule is from 8 a.m. to 6 a.m. 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 and 6 p.m. Yes. You are a little bit tired in English. Yes, yes, a little bit. Teacher, una pregunta. Yeah. Have a question. Este, ustedes como inglés corporativo no tienen este diplomas ni certificados, ¿verdad? Hay que solicitarlos al INSAFOR. Yep. Mm. Yeah, because INSAFOR send them to you. Okay. In in the in the job. Yeah, but you can you can ask the people from English Corporativo how how is that process? They can help you out. Okay. Okay. I will. Okay. Ingrid, what did you do to your hair? In my hair. I cut. Oh. I cut. Uh -huh. No, cut what did you do right now? <laughs> Ay, teacher. Teacher, the, 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 the next month uh, yeah. have, have the class. Abra will have mm, class. I really doubt it. Okay. But but you can ask. The problem is that the, the, the vacation is long and so many cuts. Okay. Mm -hmm. We need to find out. Vamos a preguntar. Okay. Sí, porque si no nos vamos a ausentar. Ese mes. Oh my gosh. Es que it's more complicated the coordination in this in the date. Oh yeah, of course I know. I know. For the job. Todos quieren para allá. The Christmas party. Yeah, everything. Yes. Well, let me go check the rest of the group. Okay. Okay.
Let's see, we're just waiting for everybody to come back. Okay. Perfect, we are on time. Now let's see the exercise, the questions we have, guys. Okay. You remember we are in page number 26, exercise number six. And the first question is, who is in charge? Who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Friday? Let's see, with this question, is going to help me. Oscar, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesdays to Friday? Hmm. Carlos Antonio. Yes, teacher. Question number one, who is in charge of purchasing food? It's Laura. Because Laura. She work, because she works from Tuesday to Friday as a kitchen manager. Okay, perfect. Now, thank you, mister. You say it exactly like I want to. The name on why. When is the dishwasher day off, Antonio? Wednesday, teacher. Okay, Wednesday. Excellent, excellent. How long is Thomas break, Magdalena? Um, Thomas breaks is 30 minutes. Okay. Well, yeah, 30 minutes. His day off is Wednesday, right? Okay, next, 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 next. I'm sorry. And what is Sophia's job in the restaurant? Mm. Luis Mario, what is Sophia's job in the restaurant? Yes, teacher. She is a barter, bar, bartender, sorry. Okay, she's a bartender, perfect. Yes. When is her vacation, Luis Mario? She, she has the best schedule because her vacation is Friday and Saturdays. Mm. You know, being a bartender is not, it's good because Friday and Saturday are the heaviest. Yeah, it's but interesting. But are the days that you get more tips? Mm, yeah. Well, in a bar, but in this case, it's a restaurant. Okay. Yeah, you have reason. But is is very strange or or weird that uh, she is a bartender and she has Friday and Saturday off. Yeah, yeah, but in a restaurant, you know, Sundays noon heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's yes, very yes. heavy. Okay, let's see. When is Carlos on training? And let's see, let's see when is Carlos on training? Magdaleno, what you got? Okay, in training. Um, he is um, 
Carlos is in training on, on Tuesday. From okay. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yes, he's in training on Tuesday. And what is his schedule on Friday? On Friday, he is a server and then he serves food. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, guys, let's see. There's something that it's not the time that I'm but I'm going to explain to you right now. Okay, how to use the superlative forms of adjectives. If you remember when we have adjectives, uh, we got the comparatives. And the comparative, if you remember what, to add ER. The comparative se recuerdan que era agregar ER, right? Or if it's a long one, que era un largo, it was more before the adjective, right? Now, for the superlative, it's the same rules. The only difference is that instead of ER, you got EST, like fast, fast. And something else that you need to remember is this. The superlatives always got this expression before, that. ¿Por qué? Porque ya es el más rápido. Lo más triste. El más ocupado. You see? El. La. Got it? So, and you got here the, the rules. The superlative form for one syllable adjectives is made of the adjective plus EST. Adjectives that are two or more syllables long use the most, that plus most plus the adjective. And then we have uh, adjectives like good and bad, which are irregular adjectives because they don't have follow the rule. Like good, best. Bad, the worst. Okay, now let's go back. Let's go back. I have to show you that. Okay, and let's see. Questions about the superlatives? Like, mm, today is not the hardest day, right? I can ask you a question like, let's see, Antonio, tell me, Antonio. No, teacher, uh, you can, you could give more examples, please, or okay, tips. Okay, perfect, perfect. Antonio, tell me, uh, what is the most beautiful day of your life? What's the best day of your life? The most beautiful day for me is on Sunday because I can rest at home. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Ingrid. Hello, teacher. Tell me, what's the worst day of the week for you? What is the, the deal for me? The worst, el peor. El peor trabajo. Um... The worst, no, the worst day on the week. I don't understand, teacher. What is the worst? The worst day of the week for you. El peor día de la semana. The worst day of the week. Ah, sorry, teacher. Um, um, 
and Friday because uh, people need the more information for now. <laughs> oh, everybody's like for right now, for right now. Yes, because the weekend don't don't work. The Friday is crazy in the office. Okay, thank you very much. Magdaleno. Hi, teacher, I'm also sleeping. Okay, don't worry, I got a question for you so you don't get the sleep. <laughs> thank you, what a good question. Okay, the question is, tell me, in, well, in our life, there are always special moments, right? Moments that really make a, that set a change, a change of direction, okay, in your life. Tell me, what's the most emblematic moment of your life? Okay. <clears throat> Perhaps it is on 2010 when I had a crash in the car when I worked for, for Mr. Gerardo Cáceres. And I, after that, my life really changed. Really? Yep. Maybe it was my, my most, I don't know how do you, what is, you said that in the question, most, um, I don't remember what is the word that Emblematic, emblematic. More emblematic. Okay, that is the most emblematic moment in my life. Maybe I don't know. In my mind, is only that for the, at the moment. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Carlos Antonio. Yes. Do you like reading? Not really. Not really. And do you like watching TV? Yes, for sure. Okay, tell me. Uh, what's the best TV program for you? What's the best, el mejor? Mm, the best TV program? It's, I don't have best TV program. Okay, none is the best. Now, and then tell me, uh, what is the type of programs you like the most? What is the type of programs you like the most? Serious. That's what I like the most. Because I can learn from them. And okay. I can prove. Yeah. Perfect. Yes, I be serious. Thank you, Carlos. Tell me, what is the best, what is the best part of the day for you? Part of the day, I don't understand. What is the best part, part? Like in my case, let's see, the best part of the day is between five and 6 p.m. because I relax a little bit, have a cup of coffee, that's the best part of the day. Like, ah, the day. Okay, the best part in my day is uh, it's a lunch. <laughs> lunch time? 
Yeah. <laughs> Lunch time. Okay, okay. And uh, 12, um, 12 uh, uh, um, noon. Okay, at noon. At noon and um, 11 30 p.m. Okay. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Okay, let's do it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. See a little something. There. Okay, guys, I share something here that you can use to practice. Okay, now, uh, I just sent you a little thing that you can practice, that's for extra practice on your own. Because now we go back to our conversations, okay? Just let me get something, get rid of something here in my screen. Oh, Magdalena, share with us. Excellent, Magdalena, thank you. Okay. Now we are going to talk about a really, 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 really interesting topic. I mean, this is like a topic that it's like on board. I mean, it affects all of us all of us we are going to talk about telephones and mobile phones do you think people have become telephone addicts what do people use the telephone for nowadays could you live without a telephone what will happen if your telephone no longer works we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic right guys you will have 10 minutes for this discussion and I will be moving from group to group. Let's see. Groups are open. Okay, let's see, Orlando, I'm going to send you to room number three. Of course, I am a phone addict. Yes. All, okay, tell me, uh, my, what do my people whole... use the phone? 
Yeah, it, 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 it is about the question that I'm going to mention right now. What do people use the, the telephone for nowadays? ¿Para qué usan los teléfonos hoy en día? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For everything, for your schedule, for your social media. Yes. For calling, for messages, WhatsApp and, and Messenger, and Facebook Messenger, Instagram, YouTube, and the other one, TikTok. And that is the use. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, you're, you're totally right. Nowadays, all people use, use phone. And in that way, we can keep in touch with, with a lot of information that we need to, we need to learn, like news, or whatever that, that, that we want to share, if we want to watch like TikTok, like what you mentioned before, we can use the yeah. phone. If you don't have the phone, we, I think everyone's going to be crazy. <laughs> and Twitter so, too. Do you Twitter have Twitter? Do you yeah, have Twitter? I got Twitter. I got Twitter. Or social <laughs> media. Who do you live without? A telephone? I depend. I depend of my telephone. Actually, I am. I am receiving. I am attending the class. Receiving. In my cell phone. Receiving. I'm re I'm receiving my class in the cell phone. I attend meeting in the cell phone. Everything. Classes, meetings, calling. Is that? I depend on my cell phone and you. I think I could live by with my without my phone, but just for one day, my day off, because I don't want nobody bother me if I'm resting. <laughs> mm. Only one day, but not longer than one day. No more than one day. No more than one day. That's yeah, the longest one you day. think you can you can do it without. Yeah, no more than one day. <laughs> I'm going to be crazy if I don't have, because when when I don't have battery, I always run for my for my charger. Charger. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, in my case, I could perhaps I could spend one day without internet connection, no problem. As long as I got a book, I need reading. That's nice, well, but I, if you had a, a day off, but if you have to keep in touch with your classmate, with oh, your yeah, student. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's different because we have adapted our jobs to, to, the, to the connection. Yes, teacher. And when I, when I work at Countryside, it's interesting. I have two and three days without without the internet connection because don't have an internet connection in this place. It's interesting because for send a message, I have to place it in a specific place. My phone. And and speak or say, or listen the the audio message message with with high. Como se, how do you say alta voz? Speaker. With the with the phone speaker. Yeah, with the speaker phone. With the speaker's phone. Mm hmm. It's interesting. I remember um, the first days when I worked out um, 
when I work in the countryside, it was really difficult. I, I couldn't call to my family. Uh, really, one, da one day, I, I go up, uh, no, I went up a roof in some one of the built of the bill of a building in a church to to get the in the to get a connection for for do a calling for make a calling to make a phone call phone call okay for make a, a phone call and is that the last question, what is that? What will happen if our telephone no longer... Let's check on our group, see if they finish. Rolling. Uh, are you? Como te digo, no sé, tú no eres adicto a eso. No, no yet. Not yet. And I hope not. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Finish, guys. Excuse me, teacher. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Hey, let's see, let's see, everybody's coming. <clears throat> let's just wait a couple of seconds. Okay, let's see. Ingrid. Tell me, Ingrid, do you think people have become telephone addicts? Um, yes. Um, it depends the, the person. Um, it's normally the, the teen, teen, teenagers. Is very uh -huh. avid at 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 so a telephone, or the kids is very avid 
al telephone. Kids are very addict. It's telephone. very addict. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Antonio, what's your opinion? Tell me, uh, related to this question, uh, what do people use the telephone for nowadays? Uh, nowadays, teacher, the people use telephone for everything, for many things, teacher. The, the almost people nowadays to want to work on the telephone because you can you can um, to have many information in your telephone you, yeah, can, you can store you can store information you, uh, okay and also you can uh, search you can teach and you can learn too on telephone. It depends in in if the, the the person if you if you can you can get a a buen provecho the of the technology. Okay, no, you can take take advantage. Take advantage. Okay, if you want, but if you if you want to spend time in the telephone, it's your problem too. But in 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 about the technology, you can learn about the technology. It's the pain. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. Carlos Elivaldo, are you around? Okay, Rosalina, tell me, could you live without a telephone? I live with no, right now, well, no. Why not? Uh, because, because it's, <laughs> Uh, is part of my life, the phone. Do you think you depend a lot on a cell phone? For for my job, yes, because it's the uh, I, the tool, the medio medio comunicación, the means means the twenty means. twenty four hours. I need okay to, means means of communication. Means of mean. communication. Yes, mean. Okay. Because uh, uh, always alert to the phone. If okay. I, I if I lost that phone, I talk to my classmate. Uh, the problem is with you lost a lot of information, uh, and maybe in that time uh, we depend. Uh, this, this, yeah. uh, this aparatito. Device, yeah. device. Device, device the phone. Okay, perfect. Yes, Antonio, tell me. Okay, teacher, I think if you, if you can't live many years ago without a telephone, you can live with a telephone nowadays too. Mm. In a way, yeah, in a way. The thing that I could argue with you is this, that, I mean, yeah, before you could live without a cell phone, but as uh, with some groups were discussing, the problem is that the, the pace and the style of living, and not just living, also of working, has changed. Yes, I think. Just that teacher. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, like in my case, I mean, I depend a lot of the cell phone because I got, 
I got the, the, the I mean, I got groups and my students, some of my students connect with help and well, some of you do it, right? But, but if, you have, if you don't have cell phone around the world, uh, we don't have problems. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the the thing is this, that it could be easier if it had never existed. But now that you know that they exist and that you have modified your style of living to adapt to all the technology that is available, I mean, it has become more complex. And that's the thing that actually it's not just the cell phone. It, all the technology that is related to it because the cell phone uh, at, at the beginning the cell phone if you remember when they appear were used just for call for making phone calls right yes uh, and you could perhaps just start some numbers and that was it then yes. you started sending text very short messages text then you got the camera then they made the memory bigger and yeah. after that after that they started like uh like you could send send voice man and i mean you could check your email and perhaps for some of these young people it it's hard to understand a world without all the access that they got for technology but as uh, Magdalena was saying uh, it was different before, like uh, for making a phone call to some places, you need like to make a reservation. Do you remember? You ah, have yes. to make a reservation in order so the other person could be in that place at the same time that you were calling. I mean, it was crazy making a phone call beforehand. Now it's quite easy. And I mean, you don't really need Sometimes to even make a phone call, you make a video call and you can connect like this with people. I mean, society has changed uh, and we have adapted everything to all the technology available to us, which is good in a way, but the problem is, as you said, we have become dependent on technology. Yes, important because too. We, yeah, it, it is important, but we have become some so dependent on it that I mean if tomorrow they tell you there's no more internet, I mean the world will collapse. Yes, the whole world. Yeah, everything will collapse because communications, uh, banking, uh, transportation. I mean, tell me one aspect of our lives that is not related in a way with technology it's hard right everything yes, i mean i mean if you work uh, perhaps you work in something in an area that before they didn't use like uh, oh well i got accountants here remember accountants before you have a big book right and you start to write it and you have your columns now you do it with a program Yes. And if they need if they need the report, you send the report. But if suddenly you don't have internet connection, if suddenly they tell you, okay, there's no more access for you to technology, will be crazy, right? Okay, guys. Oh, well, it's almost time. I need to tell you something. Uh, tomorrow, I will start giving out the 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 names for the exposition, the presentations of the final homework. They will start on Monday, okay? I will be telling you the order in which you are going to present tomorrow. I will give you the list. I will give you the names. Uh, be ready for the presentations, okay? Because you will talk to your, to your classmates. You will present something. Remember, you can either just stay there, open the camera, start talking, it's okay. You can, if you want to open the camera, great. If you want to make a PowerPoint presentation, 
Excellent. Just remember, we cannot use like videos from a third party. No podemos utilizar videos de, like from YouTube or something like that because it, it is not allowed. It's because of the, 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 the copyright. The video of the derecho del autor. And we don't have, we don't want to have problems like that. Right? So uh, that's the only thing. But remember, the idea is for you to speak. That's what, I, mostly that's what I want you to do, to speak, to be able to explain a topic. Be careful with what you choose because it's not just speaking. You are going to have uh, like one minute for questions, okay? And if your classmates don't ask you, I will ask you a couple of questions. So be ready, be ready. Okay, guys. It's time for the final attendance. Let me get it. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Celibaldo Abrego Marmo. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Okay. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Olman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Juan Francisco Echala Montano. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos Alivaldo. Thank you, Juan Francisco. Carla Lister García Lemos. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Thank you, Carla. <coughs> Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present. Nelson, Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosalina. Thank you, Oscar. Vilma Yeseni Alvarenga. Thank you, Yesenia. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. And Mardon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón. Thank you, Marlon. Hey guys, thank you very much for being here in the class. I know it's a heavy day. It's the middle of the week. See you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye bye. Good night. Bye, Mister. Good night.
Bye.